channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'd like to show you how to make this mug cozy. Um, the difference with this one is that there's like a, a button and of course like a little closure here. And uh, I don't know, I just think it's so cute. It dresses up the mug. I think these make great Valentine's Day gifts for teachers, friends, whoever. Um, yeah, let me show you this real quick. It's so cute. So. I got a couple of these mugs um, from Ray Dunn, and here's the matching one. I have coffee in there. Honey and cutie. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm going to make a second one for this, and this is how this pattern looks. Isn't that cute? And I'm going to show you how I made this, and I'm not really sure what the name of the stitch is called, but I will show you how to make it. Okay, if you guys are interested in learning how to make this, then continue watching. Okay, so supplies. I am using the Red Heart with Love yarn. And this is in the color Cameo. And it's, for some reason, this is a, it is a medium worsted weight yarn, number four. And this yarn is recommending a 65 millimeter hook. But today I'll be using my handy 55 uh, millimeter hook. That's what I um, used to make that um, cozy. And of course, this is optional, but, you know, one of these tape measures, a button, any size button would be great. I have like a jar of different kind of colored um, buttons. So whatever you have, you, you can use. You'll need one of these needles and, of course, scissors. Okay, let's begin. So to start, let's make a slip knot. So of course this is going to depend on the size of your um, mug. So you can um, basically change this and this pattern is in multiples of three. And this particular one I made, uh, I did a starting chain of 12. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. Now um, we're going to make two double crochets or a, a double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So the loop on the hook does not count. One, two, three. And we're going to make one double crochet. And then a second double crochet in that same chain. Okay, skip two, one, two, and we're going to start off by making a single crochet and then two double crochets. Okay, skip two, and then same repeating pattern. One single crochet, and two double crochets. Okay, skip two, and then in the last chain there, make one single crochet. Okay, and this is how it should look so far. Chain two, and then turn your work. Now we're going to make two double crochets into that foundation chain at the bottom. One, two, okay, and same as before, we're going to skip two. One, two, and in that single crochet portion right here at the bottom, we're going to uh, do that pattern where it's going to be one single crochet and two, two double crochets. Okay, skip two and then in that um, single crochet space, 
go ahead and make your single crochet and two double crochets. Okay, and then skip two, and then in in this turning space right here, I'm going to put one single crochet, and we're done for this row. Okay, guys, that's basically it. We're going to change to chain two, and turn the work, and this is going to be a repeat of the previous row. So you're going to make two double crochets into this foundation chain at the bottom. One, two, skip two, and then do that pattern where it's going to be one single crochet and two double crochets. Skip two, one single crochet, and then two double crochets in the same chain. Okay, skip two, and then in that turning chain, go ahead and put in a single crochet. Okay, this one will work up really quick since it's a small project, it's a mug. <coughs> and um, what I did was I just went ahead and continued on until I think it's long enough, and then I tried it around the mug, and then kind of determined from there um, to either, you know, stop there, and, or continue on. Continue on, and um, I will come back and show you how long I ended up making uh, mine. And then I'll show you how to add the button, and of course the uh, little, um, um, oh, I don't know what you call this, this portion, this little tab portion where you can hook onto the button. I'll come back and show you, um, how to make those, okay? I'll be right back. I think I'm on my last row now. Chain two, turn my work. Okay, two double crochets into that foundation chain. Okay, skip two, single crochet, and then followed by two double crochets in that next, in that same chain. Okay, skip two, single crochet, and two double crochets. Okay, and this is my last stitch here. Single crochet into that turning chain. All right, <clears throat> that should be about the same length, I believe. Yep, it is. Okay, it's about 11 inches. So again, depending on the size of your mug, um, make it as long as you need. Uh, mine is a bigger mug. It's a, uh, let's see, it doesn't even say, but it's, it's a pretty hefty size mug. So that's what I measured for mine. Now I'm going to show you um, how to add this little loop thing so you can tie your button to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to slip stitch to the middle. Okay, so I'm going to sure I'm focused here okay so slip stitch to the middle so putting my hook through each chain and just slip stitching it over that looks about middle to me so now I'm going to chain 10 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so chain ten and uh, the bottom chain, uh, the same one, we're going to slip stitch into that. Okay, 
Okay. All right. And then slip stitch to the other side. And basically we are done. into this last corner here. Okay, <clears throat> I just snip off the rest of that yarn and tie off. Okay, okay, there it is. I don't know why I like this pattern so much. It's just, it just looks like little puffy uh, buds here. So cute. So I got two ends, two tails I need to tie in <coughs> or weave in, uh, but what we need to do now is work on the button. So I'm going to cut a little bit of yarn. Nah, not that much. I don't need much. And just go ahead and get that going. And I'm going to kind of eyeball it like this is where I put mine so I'm going to do the same right about there so so your button on okay what I like to do is once I got that in Go ahead and make a knot. I don't know why this is so awkward for me. Yep, let me do it this way <laughs> so it's not awkward. Okay, tie a couple of knots. To secure that. And just to be 100% sure, I'm going to go through it one more time. You don't want that falling off. <laughs> okay. Where did that come from? Oh, this is my tail that got stuck in there. Okay. So, I think that's secure enough. So, tie one more knot. And then, of course, you could weave in this tail. And then cut out, cut out the excess. Be careful. Okay, and you are done. So, well, not not one hundred percent, but go ahead and weave in um, <clears throat> the tails on either side. Okay, completed project complete. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. So um, what you can do now is go ahead and fill this up with whatever you want. Candy, chocolates, um, school supplies, whatever. You get, can get this. Uh, these two teachers. They would love that. Uh, anyone you uh, want. But this is so cute. Um, if you guys make this... Uh, be sure to tag me on it if you're on Instagram. That would be amazing to see your work. Um, I just thought this was the cutest little design. And I love the colors. I love the texture. But uh, yeah, please give my video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day. Bye everyone.